Good evening. Reserve Bank Governor Glenn Stevens has labelled as crazy the booming house prices in Australia's largest city. Speaking in Brisbane today, the head of the central bank also left the door open for further interest rate cuts, which could continue to drive a housing market already out of reach for many Australians. 25-year-old John Lee has a good job, but still can't buy a home in Sydney's southwest, where he's been looking for two years. It's too expensive. He's one of seven children to parents who've been renting most of their lives. On top of just studying pharmacy for say four years and whatnot, we've still got a we've got hex bills to pay. Scratching for a deposit to enter a hot Sydney market is proving near impossible. Something which even the Reserve Bank governor is worried about. Yes, I'm very concerned about Sydney. I, I think some of what's happening is crazy. Still, he's left the door open for another interest rate cut. We remain open to the, fur the, the possibility of further easing if, on balance, that would be beneficial for sustainable growth. Which could further stimulate the sector. We've been taking on too much more debt than a generation or so ago, but whichever way you cut it, Australian housing is very, very expensive. One of the problems is that wages aren't growing as quickly as house prices. And while estimates vary, a recent report claimed that it would take six and a half times the average annual income to afford a home in Australia, but that number varies depending on where you live. Of Australia's five biggest cities, Brisbane is most affordable. While it takes Sydney siders nearly 10 years of work to pay off a home, but that doesn't include living expenses. So we're paying typically double what Americans are paying relative to our own incomes to buy an average house. While the government denies there's a housing bubble, some of the factors for one currently exist. We've certainly seen some of those indicators, uh, particularly strong growth in investor credit. Uh, the deterioration in lending standards not so much and in fact at the moment APRA is trying to wind that back. An increase in housing supply may over time be a solution to rising prices. If that occurs you get more competition out there amongst the suppliers and prices over time will come down. Longer term however Australians may need to move into regional areas much like the US. They've got lots of cities with a million people in them or less whereas we've just concentrated ourselves in very expensive cities. An unwanted option for some. I have had um, thoughts about going to uh, rural to practice and um, you know it would be a bit easier out there I guess but the th uh, all my family's here in Sydney. Ricardo Gonsalves, SBS World News.